please know we have thoroughly reviewed all of the available safety, immunogenicity, and efficacy data before recommending this vaccine for your child. That is CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky urging parents to get their kids the COVID-19 vaccine after giving the green light to Pfizer shot for children. Now, the bulk of the vaccine doses are supposed to arrive at hospitals, doctor's offices, and pharmacies starting next week. But some parents are, of course, hesitant to get their kids the vaccine. Live this morning with us, we're lucky to have world-renowned expert in virology, Dr. Larry Corey from Fred Hutch. Dr. Corey, thanks so much uh, for waking up with us this morning. We really appreciate your voice on days like these. Uh, what's the message you have to parents who argue it's too soon for their kids to get this uh, vaccine? I know you have grandkids as well. What do you say to people who may be hesitant right now? Well, I, I, I say that there's been an incredibly thorough review of this, um, and it's been cautious and a lot of people have had eyes on it and feel that uh, the vaccine which is in adults and and teenagers is now into you know 400 million people um, uh, is ready to give to five to uh, 11 year olds it's a, a lower dose um, and it's been it gives you the same immune responses at a lower dose and so uh, there's been just a lot of eyes on it um, the people feel hesitant, I guess I would sort of say to them, um, as they watch this rollout occur uh, in the next uh, two to three weeks, um, check on the website, check with their pediatrician, check with their um, uh, trusted uh, colleague or parent um, who has had a vaccine for the child. And, and um, you, know, um, you know, if you want to wait two or three weeks uh, and see how this goes, um, there will be millions of of mm -hmm. kids vaccinated, there are 28 million kids, um, then maybe that's the best way for them to approach it. Yeah. Well, what are your thoughts on uh, parents who have a child who's 11, about to turn 12? They're, you know, maybe having trouble getting a vaccine appointment, and by that time their kid will turn 12, which means they're eligible for the uh, adult dose, but they prefer to get their kids with the pediatric dose. Um, give parents a sense of, of what they should do in that situation. I, I think just ask the provider. Um, and um, if um, they prefer the lower dose, uh, you know, these issues of 11 to 12, yes, kids are different. Um, you're looking at it as it relates to um, sort of the general population basis. Um, I guess I would say for, for myself, if someone preferred a 10 microgram dose rather than and had a small 11 year old, um, that would be fine. Yeah, you can ask years. for that smaller dose is what you're saying. Talk with your provider about that. Okay. Right. All right, uh, we have an exclusive poll we wanna pull up here too. Dr. Corey, wanna get your take on this. Uh, we asked our viewers uh, across the state where people stand when it comes to a vaccine mandate in our public schools. 41% say they strongly oppose the move. 27% they say they strongly uh, they strongly oppose. Uh, let's see here, strongly support, uh, somewhat support, somewhat oppose. Uh, results on your screen here. I'm curious. Do you think that this new move to open this up for younger kids opens the door for vaccine mandates at schools, and would that help? I think one has to see how this rollout goes. Um, I think the word mandate has a lot of stirs up a lot of emotion here. Um, uh, I, who have in general been in uh, pro vaccine mandates for adults. I think that we want to see how this rollout works for young kids. Um, I think that there's an incredible relief in knowing to if your child is vaccinated, they can go to school and they won't get a serious illness. I mean, for many, 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 many parents, that is just an enormous um, relief, um, uh, the safety of going to school. Yeah. I know I feel that way about my grandchildren. What about, Dr. Corey, parents who have kids who have gotten COVID already, and so they have natural immunity, and maybe they might be hesitant to get their kids vaccinated because they feel that their child has immunity. What do you say about that? Well, um, the CDC just came out with some data, and there's been pretty consistent data that vaccine-induced immunity is better than uh, natural immunity. Um, there is some controversy about the issue that if you get just one dose after you've had COVID, that gives you really high levels of antibody, maybe you don't need the second dose. 
Um, that's something that could be considered. It hasn't actually been shown uh, that well for children. We would expect that to be. Um, but uh, clearly vaccine-induced immunity is better than natural immunity as well as its durability and its protection against Delta. Yeah, it, I know that we are short on time, but I have to ask you this. This is a huge percent of our population that's now eligible to get this vaccine. And I know you hate the term herd immunity with this virus because it's so unpredictable. But how much of this population, these younger kids need to get vaccinated for us to end this pandemic and slow things down and reach this kind of herd immunity? For Delta, um, I think it's going to be in the 80 percent. Mm. Um, I think that's we're not really going to hit 80 percent. Not not right away. No, no, not right. away. Yeah. Don't you think it's going to be a very low number in terms of what we've seen for the ages, you know, 11 <laughs> to 15? It's only it's less than 50 percent. Uh, I think for a little while it will be 15 uh, percent. Um, vaccine hesitant parents um, seem to have vaccine hesitant children. So, um, yes, I think we will have to do some convincing here and we'll have to look at the data and uh, and essentially um, uh, do this as best we can and and use the ability to protect our children, see reductions, hospitalizations, see reductions in, in, the, in the number of days they miss of school, the ability to have a normal life, mm -hmm. to be, do school activities. All of these things are pro-vaccination and we hope people recognize that. Yeah, well Dr. Put. Larry Corey with Fred Hutch. We appreciate your time, Dr. Corey, as always. Thanks, Mimi.